here, Ron. Well, now you're back down here in the mechanical areas of the museum. I'm going to give you a quick little rundown, the, the nickel and dime tour, more or less. What you can see here on the table is some common items that we constantly repair on in our units here. Uh, we've got belts, we've got pulleys, and we've got bearings. Moving parts constantly require work. These are some of the common parts that we do replace. Real quick, I'll show you around some of the other equipment. This here is a hot water boiler. We have two hot water boilers that help temper the air uh, throughout the museum. One is a primary, one is a backup. We do rotate these from week to week so that we get the same amount of hours on this. Part of tempering the water, or tipping the air. Back here in the back, we also have a steam boiler. Sure if you can get all the way back here to this one. This is our steam boiler. Our steam boiler right here works predominantly in the winter time when it's cold. The steam system is not for heat. The steam system is to put humidity back in the air. Part of the environment of maintaining our art collection and uh, so forth here is temperature and humidity. We try and maintain a specific range based on where we're located. Steam boiler is a crucial part of that. In the winter time when it gets cold, the humidity is really low. So in order to add humidity back, we produce steam. Pumped in through the air handler. Now that you've seen the steam boiler and the heating boilers, that takes care of the hot and the humidity. The chillers that we have behind us back here chill the water. You've got cold water. It's not like your system at home where it's an air-cooled system. Our system here is a water-cooled system. Water flows through the chiller, it makes the water cold, water goes out to the air handle. You need hot water to help temper it to get it the right, the right temperature. You mix hot water and cold water until you get exactly the temperature that you need. That's how that works. Again, we have another redundant system here. We have chiller one and we have chiller two. In case something happens to one, we have a backup. But in order to maintain the hours, much like we do on the boilers over here, we run one this week and we run the other one next week. So it's a pretty good system. Now I'll take you over and show you a couple of the air handles.